Hello everyone, welcome back to the Journey to 2000. I think we're on day 102 or 101 or 102. Uh, yeah, we are very, very low right now, 1901. I have a feeling we're probably going to lose, but who knows, maybe we win. I've just been playing pretty poorly. My rapid lately has been so, so, so bad, um, but that's okay. Let's just see if we can uh, win this game. That's all we can do, right, is win the game that's in front of us, and that is that. Let's play an Italian. I don't know, couldn't hurt. Could lash out. Could just start with C4, or sorry, C3. I like going into the main line. Lucio Piano. Okay, sometimes they give a check, but not this time it looks like. I'm going to do this. Let's do this. I could have pinned, but whatever. Now let's pin. Pinny pin pin. Let's castle. They don't have this. Yeah. So here, here. I'm going to drop back. If they do this, I might even take. Yeah, I'll take. I'll take. I did this in a game recently within the past week or two. Um, if you guys want to go check out that video, it's a couple of videos ago. Or I was in a very similar kind of position. It was closed. Like one of these pawns was pushed and their pawn was pushed. So it was a very closed position. Um, so this is already screaming out to me. That's just really screaming out. It's the knight. It's the bishop. Let's go for it. Maybe if they do something bad like this, then I'll do this, which will hit the queen this way and this way, and also hit the rooks. They'll be able to capture this. But, you know, that's fine. I'll be able to capture the rook. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, let's capture this knight. They take back. It's obviously a fork. That was my main reason for capturing. So now they can't capture this bishop. I don't know what they do. Also threatening this now. This is a pretty bad position for black. Has to be said. Has to be said. Soon to be threatening this as well. Uh, maybe that was more accurate, in fact, to do this. How is this not just a killer move now? So I have so many options. I'm, I'm up two points of material because they saw they can't take because then I'd be forking them. So I could just come back here, hit the queen. I really want to do this. Is that, it's pretty close to trapping the queen. It's pretty close. I mean, I even have this move. Like I, I just, I guess I don't here, here. Well, oh, what am I saying? This is defended. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Could I take here, here? I'm trying to find a way to trap this queen, but it doesn't seem likely, unfortunately. I guess I just do what? I guess I just hit the queen. That seems like the right idea. Hit the queen. Has no time to take this, obviously. Don't know where they go. My next move will likely to be take this bishop and then just drop back and I'll just be up material. Maybe rookie one was more accurate. I guess we'll check the evaluation afterwards. Yep. Makes sense that they want to drop back there. It's a good it's a good move because if I just do this, uh, they'll be able to take here. But why don't I start with taking the bishop? Maybe he takes like this. But that would just be very weakening. I'll be able to drop back here, and this bishop will have such nice pressure down this uh, diagonal. Hmm. 
So he's going to capture one of my bishops. I'm not sure which one. Okay, that way. That's probably the better bishop to capture. Yeah, makes sense. Because now this bishop is going to come back here or here, and it's, it's not as good. Not as good. Well, I guess we really only have one move, right? Bishop h4. Bishop h4 it is. Yeah, he's, he's trying to do the trick, but it's not going to work. Um, where he takes this, but it's already it's still defended. Oh, maybe he does this, then this. So I still have to be careful here, clearly. My opponent's still got some tricky moves up their sleeve. Getting rid of this bishop seems really nice. I don't really get what the point of this is, though, because I'll be able to just capture. So if I just do something random, I do this. Are they threatening to do this? And then I take, and then I have two things hitting this, but that's fine. I don't know. I'm not really buying what they're selling. That would just blunder a queen, so don't do that. Could just do this. Loses a defender of this, but then I'll be able to hit this, but still defended. I don't know what to do. A lot of options here. A lot of options here. Jesus Christ, I'm bright. Oops. Laptop brightness. What to do, what to do, what to do. Could do this, but again, that relinquishes a defender. So maybe I just do this. Maybe just cool, calm, and collected. Rookie one. I don't know if they have any threats. Here, here. And then I guess, like, I'll lose a pawn. But, like, I'm not really too worried. I feel like I'm going to lose this pawn anyway. If I'm being honest, I've got two things on it. I've got two things defending it. Maybe I just do this. It does open up his bishop, though, to be fair. I'm going to go for that. That seems fine, to be honest. He obviously can't push because then I'll take the knight. And if he doesn't, if he just does this, then I'll take this. He'll probably take back if I had to guess. And then maybe we can go for a queen exchange. But actually, the knight will be here in that variation. But. Hmm. So now he is threatening to take this. So here. Let's take. He has pressure down this file, but it's defended. It's defended by three separate pieces. Yeah. That's fine by me. So now let's take this and threaten to uh, win the queen. Or not, sorry, win the queen. But if they do this, I'll be able to trade it off which will be good for me. I want a queen trade. Not sure what that move does. Could do this to immediately hit these two. I suppose the idea is to double up, to continue putting pressure here. It's not a bad idea. But this outright just threatens to win material, I think. Well, no, it doesn't, sorry, because they could always just here, 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 here. Uh, if I can, I don't have to, if I, if I can avoid that, I will. Oh, 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 but here's the thing here, if they take here and I have this fork, so I'm gonna go for this. If they simply just take willy-nilly, then they lose their queen. But I am hitting this, hitting this, and also threatening this. So this rook probably has to move somewhere else on this uh, this uh, pile. But my, I also have the threat to just continue pushing this pawn, which it is being blocked by the uh, by this rook and also the queen. But if I can continue just creating threats. It'll be tough for my opponent to make a move. They definitely see this idea, obviously, pretty clear by how long they're waiting. Because I feel like if they had just saw a capture sequence, they would have been like, okay, I take, and then the person takes, and then I take here. But I think they obviously see this threat now. I'm assuming maybe something like this. Okay, they resign. But then that would have blundered a rook. Okay, very nice win. Very, very nice win. Yeah, I played with 95% accuracy. They just kind of blundered some stuff early on. This is why the Italian is such a good opening.
What would have been better to... Okay, just to immediately castle. I never know, like, if... Uh, I suppose if I do this, then I have rookie one, yes. Then they can do something like this, which is uber weakening, but I guess you just continue to pile on the pressure. I, and yeah, I guess this would be super weakening. I guess they probably do this instead. Um, why is that not a good move? Oh, to, okay, but here. And then, okay, well, what about here? Okay, okay. It's a bit of a tricky, yeah, 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 because you're going to win this and they also can't castle. But what if they just, okay, I, it says rook, at, uh, sorry, king f8 is the best move, which is crazy to me. What if they just do like basic development move? Okay, yeah, this is pretty scary threat to be fair. Okay, cool. Well, that's a nice line. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe castles here is the best idea. And if they take, they're just in a world of pain. Okay, so let's get back to the main game. Best. Yeah, just jumping the knight and I knew it was incredibly strong. Yeah, the best line was to sacrifice the queen. That was the best thing they could have hoped for from that, is what Stockfish is saying. If they had come here, I want to see if my sacrifice would have been sound if they had done this. Yeah, knight takes g7. Perfect. Okay, that makes me happy because I would have done that. And the main reason is because... Uh, say they do something like this. Oh, okay. E5 would not have been the move I thought to do here, here. Oh, to make room for the knight. See, those those kind of ideas, but why, why not just here immediately? Because it, it says they take the pawn. Oh, they take the pawn and also continue to defend this, and I can't take because it's defended by the knight. Very interesting. Okay, so that's why you go, that's why if here, 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 and something like this, I can't immediately just jump by knight in. Um, it also says queen f3, which would have what which would have been what I do. If they go king king g7, what would have been my move here? I guess the same idea, right? E5, or I guess the same thing if they do the so I have to go, yeah, e5 is the best move. What about this, for example? Okay, well, it just shoots up in my opponent's favor. I see. I lose material. What about here? Okay. Rook H8. And black is winning here, minus 4.2. Wow. I would have not guessed they're winning that, that much. And it's just a bad position for white. Okay, interesting. Fair, fair, fair. They do this. I jump it in. They take this. So that's not the best move. It's kind of a tricky move, but it's not the best. Okay. I get, oh, okay. This forces, this forces them to take. And then, oh, okay. I was going to say this to continue to defend this. But queen there. Oh, that's a very good move. You're hitting this and also threatening this. Very nice move. They take here. I have to put, oh, okay, right, right, you, you can always block here. And this is minus 2.5 for black? I guess I have a bad pawn here. It's not a bad pawn, but it's an, it's an isolated queen pawn, which is very easy to attack from their perspective. And my king is kind of open here. Fair enough, fair enough. So they play the best move, not taking back the bishop. What would have been better? Rookie one, I knew rookie one would have been best. Wow, to give it up, to give up the piece. What would have happened if they had done what I imagine they would have done, which was queen here, just here, or, okay, so it says, it says, yeah, queen h7, knight takes b6, a takes b6, and d5, oh, d5 with the fork, nice. That's nice, okay, that's very nice. So I drop back, do this, I take, which is the best move. I have to get rid of this bishop because it is threatening to take here. We saw in the previous line that this queen move is very strong because it threatens this bishop and it's also setting this up. So luckily I'm able to take, they take back and I drop here. That's the best move, which is interesting because maybe I'm just not understanding the main idea. Like, I guess it hits here, which is of course I go, oh no, you can't take back with the pawn, but I'm defending it here as well. And I'm also going to be bringing my bishop back, which will stop any kind of 
you know, these sort of ideas. I can just take like this. I mean, I'd probably still take with the queen, but okay. And then that's the best move. I'm glad that's the best move. I'm the one with the advantage. I want to open up the center. Um, it does open up the dark squared bishop, which is fair, but I kind of recognize that this pawn is a little bit, it's an IQP. It's very tough for me to defend it, so why not push it? They play that. I, I, I play the best move. And that's not the best move. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. Just get out of line of uh, the bishop. To say I do like, I don't know, this. Are they threatening to... Okay, now they're threatening to do this idea. Okay, and, and if I still come here, what happens? Oh, yeah. But, oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just mentioned that. That's why king... Yeah, whenever the bishops have a very nice uh, diagonal against your king, or like minded, it always makes sense to go... Um, move your king over whether you're short castled or long castled cool best best and then i played the best move which is a very tricky move because it just looks like it attacks a knight or sorry attacks a rook and a bishop but it's also if they just do here then obviously i have this check winning the queen which i think would have been the best idea right if i did this and they did that yeah 97 check pick up the queen do this give him with this give him this check and this is obviously very winning this pass pawn is actually going to be very dangerous because I'll probably end up coming up here and threatening some pushes. Cool. But none of that happened because they resigned in this position. They resigned here. Cool. Well, I'm just going to keep it to the one game. Very happy with that win, 1908. We luckily did not bounce down to the 1800s. We were able to get the dub. Um, some video upcoming soon. I've gotten some new monitors and uh, uh, just kind of improving my own like work area. So I'm trying to figure out a nice system um, and OBS was not working well with me today. I wanted to do puzzle rush. I was trying to change some stuff in OBS so I could show you guys a nice view of like the puzzles and all that. But yeah, I'm going to, um, I will be doing a puzzle rush video sometime soon. Um, I don't know when exactly, but sometime in the next couple of days or maybe the next week. Uh, I, puzzle rush looks like a lot of fun. I've never done it before. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. We got the nice win. Peace.